Hello and welcome to Argent the Consortium in about 3 minutes. It is a game for 2 to 5 players. There is no solo mode. Playing time is around 2 to 3 hours. It's a pretty complex game. The Chancellor of Argent University of Magic is stepping down and a secret cabal of powerful wizards is deciding who will be their replacement. You are one of the senior members of the faculty and you have only a few days to amass supporters, power and influence in order to demonstrate to the consortium that you are the logical choice to lead the university. The winner of this game is the player with the most votes at the end of the game. Most of the voters identities are hidden at the start of the game and you will discover what they want as the game progresses. The game ends after five or six rounds. Competitive. There can only be one chancellor at Argent. Worker placement. Placing majors in room spaces gains your resources and power. Engine building. Supporters, spells and treasures can be combined to make powerful combinations of effects. Player turn. At the start of the game select a character. Take their starter spell, two wizards matching their color and three others of your choice. Place one mark on a voter. That allows you to privately look at them. Every time you place a mark, you choose a new voter to examine. The main resources in this game are money, mana, merit badges, marks, majors, intelligence, and wisdom. Your turn consists of an optional fast action and one main action. Fast actions have this symbol, and they must be done before you take your main action. Placing a mage is an action, but you will normally not gain the benefits of that placement until the end of the round. Spaces with this symbol require you to have a merit badge to use them, and these slots here are for shadowing mages, which you can do with spells and effects. Each different type of mage also has a special ability. For example, planar mages can be placed as a fast action. You can also cast a spell as an action, paying the mana cost and tapping it. You can use supporters or treasure. Use supporters and consumable treasures, go to your personal discard and count at the end of the game for scoring. Finally, you can claim a bell tower card as an action, and when the last card is picked, the round is over. You then activate each room starting at the top left, working across and down. The player with the mage at each spot gains the benefits listed. For example, 6 gold or 3 mana. Mages in regular slots resolve before ones in shadow slots. Merit badge slots require you to use that merit badge for this round. Spells can be learned using research by placing intelligence on that spell. Spells can also be powered up using wisdom and research. Supporters, basic resources, influence, marks and treasures are all gained from rooms. If this is the last turn, turn over each voter one at a time and calculate who has the most of the resource the voter is after. The person with the most total votes wins. Why would you like this game? Arjun is a fascinating game with a myriad of possible strategies and paths to victory. It's very much a game for people who like options and emergent strategies. And while it looks complex, the core gameplay is similar enough to most worker placement games that it's easy to teach the basics. The complexity in the game comes from all the interactions and possible decisions to be made. Few games have more customization options than Argent. You can choose from a multitude of rooms to build the university and choose A and B sides of these rooms, as well as a dozen different characters. Even the wizards themselves are double sided. The best thing about this game is the sheer level of interaction and crazy effects. No other worker placement game I've played allows you to rearrange other people's workers or blow up entire rooms. However, there is a lot going on and this game can be easily overwhelming, both for new players who could find the game too much to take in, and for experienced players who may struggle to decide on an action with so many options available. It's also a game where players mess with each other, and if you don't like the idea of having your major sent to hospital by a fireball, this game won't be for you. For another worker placement game with high levels of interaction, check out Architects of the West Kingdom. And if you like the art and style of this game, check out Millennium Blades. Argent the Consortium. Harry Potter and the Game of Thrones. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.